Today's subject will be what is a clog detection line in the kitchen hood fire suppression system. The detection line is one of the most important components of the fire suppression system. The detection line is the only automatic means of actuation when the system has a fire or reaches temperatures that exceed the temperature ratings of an individual fusible link. The detection line is made up of half inch conduit, as you can see here. It's also made up of stainless steel cable and stainless steel detection cable and detection bracket. You also have corner pulleys that is connected as well. In these corner pulleys is a wheel that the cable rolls on and moves freely. You will also have fusible links. As you can see you have two different styles of links as well. The detection line is a mechanical moving part that has a constant tension when set in the arm position. The detection brackets are installed in series throughout the hood and will terminate at that point. Detection brackets and fusible links are required to be installed directly above your appliances and directly underneath the duct opening. The number of appliances and the length of hood will determine how many detection brackets will be installed throughout the hood. The, inspection, the inspecting technician will perform the following steps during the inspection process to determine if the proper operation of the detection line. These steps can vary slightly due to the different manufacturers and instructions. So the first step is removing and disarming the system. The technician will first remove the cover to the system itself. He will then either remove the cartridge or he will remove any copper tubing to disarm the system to avoid any type of accidental discharge while this, during this process. As you can see, we've removed the cartridge. The system is in the cock position at this point. Next step is to release the tension off the detection line so we can install the test link and test the system properly. Now that we've released tension from the detection line, we're going to install a test link. But first of all, we need to locate the terminal detector. In this situation, in this particular hood, this is your terminal detector. As you can see, the half inch conduit coming in one side, and it's terminating here. If it was a continuous series detector, you would have conduit coming out of this side with another detector and on and on and on. At this point, this is going to be the terminal detector and we're going to put this test link in there, cut it and test the link, test the system as we normally would. We will now remove the fusible link that's existing in the hood and we will install the test link. Now that the test link has been installed, we will go back around, we will set tension back on the line and then we will cut the test link and test to see if the detection line moves as it should. Now that we've installed the test link in the hood, we're going to come back around and we're going to reset the tension on the detection line. As you can see, as I pull this down, this tension pull spring on the cable that runs through the system. This is the cable that runs all the way through. As you can see, it's still in the cock mode at this moment. Once I cut the test link, the system should trip out. This should drop down and you will see that this is disconnected at that point. We will now cut the test link to show you what should happen at this point. When I cut this test link, that line should pull all the way back. It should fire the system and it will no longer be in the cock mode. As you can see, once we cut the test link, that the system actuated as designed. If the system would not have actuated properly, we would have done some more research to figure out why the system did not operate. The most common problem is that the detection line gets clogged with grease over long-term periods. 
During the cooking process, grease-laden vapors are vented up through the ventilation hood and out through the exhaust duct. The grease-laden vapors also fills the detection line conduit over time. At night, when the cooking process is shut down, the grease-laden vapors congeal inside of the conduit and also around the detection cable. The process is repeated day after day until the detection line conduit becomes full of grease and hardens where the detection line will not move freely as designed. Once this occurs, the kitchen suppression will not function as designed. The only repair for this is to replace the entire detection line throughout the hood. Here's an example. As you can see, this detection line is clogged from one end all the way to the other end. This is the perfect example of what we talk about clogged detection line. This particular location had a fire and this system did not discharge at all due to the detection line being clogged the way it is. And as you can see, that detection line is solid all the way through. There's no way to get that line out of there. That line should completely come out of that conduit by itself. In this situation, we had to replace the entire detection line from one end of the hood to the other.